But it's not all rainbows and puppy dogs. We know that, Louise, because Bernie Sanders is upset and his supporters are upset. They are promising havoc at the July convention. Now, if you put the superdelegates to the side, it's only about a 200 or so gap between Sanders and Hillary. And back in April, I have this quote that you said. You said back in April, uh, the superdelegates should not be included in any count or primary on or, or caucus night. Uh, the superdelegates, because they can actually change their mind on the convention, right? And they can move from Hillary to Sanders. It's a really good question, and it's important to clarify. The point that I was making in that interview uh, was that uh, you need to count them separately because what was happening at the time is that uh, media organizations were conflating delegates that were pledged delegates and unpledged delegates uh, as they were reporting the results in a particular state and that could wrongly have the effect of suggesting that the delegate totals aren't matching uh, the percentage of the vote totals in a state so we wanted to be very clear that you have to those separately that was really the point of that uh, and, and so and the broader point, uh, well, the broader point, Louise, is the people are looking at this, like Bernie Sanders at a, at a rally the other night said, it's just in, incredible that, uh, that Hillary Clinton had 400 delegates even before the, vote, uh, the first vote was passed. So are you going to make changes to this system after this election because so many people call it rigged? There's always changes to the system and there's always improvements. After 2008, uh, because of concerns about superdelegates, they were actually reduced from 20% of the uh, total delegates to the convention to just 15% of the delegates. So, you know, we're constantly evaluating and looking at how we can make the system better. 